Ladies, gentlemen, non-binary and gender fluid individuals, cyborgs, androids, interdimensional Torres, and a very friendly lion named Parsley. Welcome to the Crushing Deep. about four months since I started work on my new game, and whilst I've done a lot of work, progress has been slow. That's not to say I haven't achieved anything. I've modelled some assets to use within the game, and crafted several characters that I'm very happy with. We have Amir, a young professional whose charisma and confidence are the only things that mask his lack of competence and intelligence. Next is Rachel, an ambitious young professional, determined to make a deal and resentful of being saddled with Amir. And there's Amelia, Hollywood starlet, recently retired from the limelight under mysterious circumstances. There are more characters to come, but those are works in progress. Most of my time, however, has been spent crafting the setting in which the game will take place. I spent a long time sculpting the landscape to match the real world setting I'm trying to emulate, adjust the material of the water to realistically look like the sea, and add in mega scans to fill in blank spaces with small details. Since I last uploaded a video, I've been filling in the background with distant fields and towns, and today I swapped out the standard UE5 mannequin character with my own custom character for the opening of the game. I'm spending so much time working on this setting because the entirety of the game will be set in this area, and the player characters will be able to wander around almost every part of it and examine it up close. The problem I'm facing, however, is that even with huge amounts of empty space left to fill, the performance of the game is beginning to fail with very low frame rate. For those of you who have followed me long enough to remember the last game I attempted, I ran into the same problem then, but the solution I used there wouldn't work in this scenario, because that relied on breaking line of sight to objects and then unloading them. In this wide open space, everything needs to remain loaded, but I need to find a way of tweaking the levels of detail. I know there are lots of ways to control that, but I'm not experienced in utilising them, so I'm going to have to go on a deep dive into optimization to improve performance moving forward. That's all I have to say for now, I'll update you again in the winter, but we'll be dropping the occasional timelapse video between now and then. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.